What's all Jay here? Welcome to Armory Creed, the channel of conscious personal evolution. And the theme for today is don't accept and don't surrender. I predict a real battle of likes and dislikes over this video, so if you choose to put a like, may the odds be ever in your favor. The reason why I'm making this video is because I want to help you on your journey and I want to help you with your personal evolution. It is important to understand that some of the concepts that are being propagated around may sound great on the surface anyway and everyone repeats them but they can be mental poison nonetheless and especially some of the badly translated buddhist concepts have this propensity because buddhist concepts are really transcendental and one must be really careful with how he or she translates them and puts them in the real life context so the concepts of surrender and acceptance are some of them and in fact if you accept those concepts they will interfere hugely with you becoming a greater version of yourself and growing as a person i'll explain why let's begin with the concept of acceptance now whatever you repeat to yourself with time becomes part of your identity because as you know with affirmations whatever you keep repeating to yourself becomes accepted by your subconscious and your subconscious accept things without judgment so whatever you plant into it will start operating just as is and this is the danger because if you plant the idea of accepting everything just the way it is in your subconscious what will happen it will stop you from doing anything about anything and to your conscious mind, it may sound ridiculous, but your subconscious mind does not judge. Remember that your subconscious mind takes things literally. So if you keep repeating to yourself while meditating that you must accept, say, your feelings first. So you accept your feelings without doing anything about them. Then, by extension, you start accepting things in your life. You start accepting things that other people do to you until it comes to the point that you start accepting things that are not acceptable, things that you shouldn't accept, things that you should rebel against. I'll give you a simple example. Fred Astaire, who was a very famous dancer, singer, TV presenter and a choreographer, when he first went to his screening, the person who interviewed him rejected him and said something in the resume along the lines of contact, slightly bold, can dance a little. So that is a terrible way of describing what that person was really capable of. But luckily, Fred Astaire did not accept that. And he went forward and he became a star that we know today. Similarly, with many writers, many poets, many inventors. Imagine if Red Bradbury or Tolkien, who were rejected time and time again from different publishers, just accepted that and gave up and thought, all right, well, I guess I'm not good at writing. Let's just stop. So if that happened, we wouldn't have the Lord of the Rings. The person who invented vacuum cleaner failed, according to the legend, 99 times before he came up with a good idea. Again, we wouldn't have vacuum cleaners if the inventor decided that he was no good because he just accepted his failure. So what I'm saying is, it is important to acknowledge things. It is important to get awareness of things. So, for example, if you are angry, it is important to become aware of your anger. If you are sad, become aware of sadness. If you get badly treated or unfairly treated by someone in your life, become aware of it. Ask yourself a question, what happened that you allowed that into your life? What happened that you have those feelings towards something or someone? and what to do about it, but do not accept. Do not just blindly say, okay, well, I guess it's here because it's here, and just sit with it. I hope you can see how dangerous and how debilitating this concept can be. So only accept things that are acceptable and that you're willing to accept and bring in your life and become very aware of things within yourself and things in the world, educate yourself, meditate a lot to find out what really makes you tick, what triggers certain reactions in your mind. 
and then decide whether or not you should accept them. Do not take acceptance for everything as a rule. Challenge everything. Even as the Buddha himself said, do not accept anything anyone says, even if I say it myself, unless it really makes sense to you and resonates with you on a deeper level. So just keep that in mind moving forward. Do not accept, acknowledge. Now the second idea to reject out of hand and to get out of your mind as soon as you can is the myth of surrender. Do not ever surrender because your subconscious takes things literally. Remember we spoke about it. Not only it takes things literally, it thinks in mythological terms. So if you think of surrender as a concept, who surrenders? People who are defeated, people who are thrown on their knees and they're forced to surrender. You do not surrender willingly. You do not give your power away. You're only forced to do it by some enemy or conqueror or whoever else is humiliating you. That is not a good place to be and definitely is not an empowered place to be. And this is how your subconscious sees this, no matter what your conscious mind is telling you. Because as you know, in most people, the conscious and the subconscious mind are not synchronized. So they can and often do hold different ideas about the same thing. And your task is to align those ideas, to merge them and to make them whole. So here is what I mean. If you allow the idea of surrender into your mind, then you become disempowered as a person. You cannot allow your higher power and your truth flow through you simply because your truth means that you're free and independent and you are in a position of personal power. And so because of that, you become not just not aligned with your power and with your higher expression as a person, you actually reject that. So I hope you can see how dangerous this concept is. And if you're with me, if you understand, please say yes in the comments below. I do want to hear from you and I do want to hear that you're with me on this. So this is why I really want to drive my point home. And this is not about the concept itself. The concept is very powerful, but about the way it's been presented in the West. So the concept of not resisting certain parts of yourself and accepting what needs healing and embracing change, for example, instead of resisting change is very powerful and we absolutely need it. We need to go with the flow of time. We need to explore ourselves and accept that certain parts of us perhaps need healing on or repair and it's good. Uh, but the way you should word it in your mind is embracing. And again, acknowledging. So once you acknowledge something, once you stop running away from it and turning away from it, and you look it square in the face, yes, it's there, you put yourself in the position of power. But from that position, your decision is what to do next. So you don't just accept it, because if it's not acceptable, then it shouldn't be accepted. And you don't surrender to it because if you drop on your knees in front of your problem, it's not going to help. Instead, if that's something that needs healing or change, you embrace it. You allow it to be. Because if you allow something to be, then you are in that position of power. Because the decision is yours. The permission comes from you. You allow things to be or you accept things because they are acceptable to you or you embrace things. And you can see that for as long as you word it this way, your mind will actually deal with them differently because your mind tell, your mind follows your orders. Your mind follows your command. Most people don't realize that whatever they put into their minds becomes their modus operandi, becomes the way they're moving, the driving principle, the way they operate in the world. So it is very, very important how you phrase things. It's not random. Everything that you put into your mind should be deliberate. Imagine your mind like a garden or like your flat. You would only bring things that you want there. You don't want to bring random junk just because other people are carrying junk. No, simply because it's fashionable does not mean that you should take it as well. 
you have the full control and the full ability to decide what it is you want in your mind and ultimately in your life. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to help you keep your mind clear and strong. And I want to warn you against certain concepts that may sound really glossy and even novel on the surface, but under the surface they're rotten. So avoid them at all costs and replace them with a healthy understanding of what you really need and replace blind acceptance with acknowledgement and awareness and replace surrender with embracing and allowing to take place. And I will share a little secret with you. Once you step away from those concepts and start observing the people who follow them blindly, you will notice where that path really leads. And you will be really happy and really grateful that you haven't followed that lead. So observe, be aware, and stay strong. So this is all I wanted to share with you today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell for more videos because, as you know, my YouTube channel is essentially a free online training library. So this was Jay from ARIA. Thank you for watching and see you next time.